So we just got our hands on the new Pencil AX Pro, which is an Apple Pencil 2 alternative, and I think there's three main reasons why you should consider this guy over, let's say, that $130 Apple Pencil 2. So let's figure out what's so good about this thing and who's it for. Let's get it. So what is going on everybody? Fernando Silva here with another video and if you guys have been following the channel you know that I've been on the hunt for the best budget Apple Pencil alternative out there because again the Apple Pencil 2 has not changed its design since 2018. Think about how long that is. That's four years since the 2018 iPad Pro came out and alongside that came the Apple Pencil 2. And when it first came out it was a great design. It was a beautiful overhaul compared to the Apple Pencil 1 with, with that terrible charging mechanism where you had to plug in or you had to take off the cap and plug it into the bottom and with a lightning cable and things like that. But with the Apple Pencil 2 they brought that magnetic design, the wireless charging, the like 9 milliseconds of latency and things like that. But again it's a $130 Apple Pencil and there isn't really much function outside of a stylus. Yes you have the double tap shortcut but you can only really double tap to change it to an eraser. And then, yes you do have the magnetic charging which is a nice plus. But for $130, is it really worth it, especially if you're just a casual note taker, right? If you're a designer, then maybe it is worth it to go that way. But with this Pencil AX Pro, there's three main reasons why I would recommend this thing over the Apple Pencil 2. So reason number one has to be the battery life. So the battery life on this thing has been absolutely insane. Now normally with the Apple Pencil 2, I don't have to worry about battery life because it's always magnetically connected to my iPad Pro and it's always charging. So it's always taking some charge from the actual iPad Pro to make sure that when I pull it off, it's always at 100%. So with this AX Pro, it is magnetic, so it does magnetically stay on the actual iPad Pro or iPad Air or iPad Mini, but it doesn't charge that way. It charges via USB-C and it charges up to 7.5 watts, but a half hour charge gets you over 10 hours of continuous use with this AX Pro. And then the standby time is ridiculous. It's rated as a year long standby time, so 365 days. Obviously I haven't been able to test that, but I've only charged this thing one time since I opened it out of the box. And ever since then, I've had no issues with charging. I haven't had to charge it at all. And it's been living still magnetically on the actual iPad Pro. So reason number two to pick up this Pencil AX Pro, aside from magnetically charging on the iPad Pro, this thing checks off every single box when it comes to the actual functionality and like the purpose of using this Apple Pencil or this Pencil alternative. So the first thing you do get is palm rejection. So one of the most important things when using a touchscreen tablet is palm rejection. So having that peace of mind with this Apple Pencil alternative that if you have your palm on the screen itself, you can still write, that's a beautiful thing to have. You also have tilt sensitivity. So one of the biggest things that Apple touted was the tilt sensitivity and the pressure sensitivity of using the Apple Pencil 2 with the iPad screen, right? Being able to use the crayon function or the colored pencil function, where if you push a little harder with that Apple Pencil, you get that more dense of a line, but if you kind of lay back and kind of shade stuff in, you also get a less dense version of that line. So pressure sensitivity and tilt function is all there. So if you have pinpoint directly down at a 90 degree angle, you're gonna get a thinner line, but if you kind of spread it out and tilt the actual pencil, you can color stuff in with more of a surface area depending on what pencil tip you're using, or at least what virtual pencil tip you're using. And then another big thing with this, which I did mention a little bit earlier, is the fact that even though it doesn't charge magnetically on the iPad, it still attaches magnetically and feels exactly the same as the Apple Pencil 2. So it'll stay on the Apple Pencil 2, the magnet is just as strong as the Apple Pencil 2, the only thing you will notice is if you do have an Apple Pencil 2 in hand, which I don't know why you want to pick this up, maybe as a, as a secondary one just in case you lose it, but the Apple Pencil 2 is a little bit heavier than the AX Pro. So the AX Pro does feel a little bit lighter. I think it's because it's made of just like thinner plastic, but overall it's not like you're feeling a difference in quality. So the Apple Pencil 2 is a little bit heftier and maybe it feels a little bit more quality because it is hefty, but overall this is still a very quality device. Like you shake it around, nothing is like loose or anything. You can't really bend it. So from a build quality perspective, it's still great and the magnetic attachment is always, always welcome. And then two more things that I do want to mention on this AX Pro is that it technically doesn't work with Bluetooth. It all just works off of the battery and the touch sensitivity. So I will give you guys an announcement and a PSA that if you are coming from an Apple Pencil 2 and you do have it connected in your Bluetooth settings inside of the iPad Pro or whatever iPad you're using, you have to disconnect that Apple Pencil 2 in order for this to work. So once you disconnect the Apple Pencil 2, as long as you turn on the AX Pro, it's gonna start working automatically. And what makes that awesome is that it's cross compatible with the different iPads. So yes, it's gonna work with all the newer iPads with the new form factor. So the 2018 iPad Pro and higher, the new iPad mini, the iPad Air 4 and 5, and it'll still work that way with the magnetic attachment and it'll still fit the aesthetic. But also since it doesn't rely on Bluetooth connectivity or anything like that, 
You can still use it with older iPads. You can use it with the iPad 6 generation, the 7, the 8, the 9. You can use it with the older iPad mini, the older iPad Airs, and I believe you can go as far back as like the original iPad Pro, the 2015 iPad Pro that came out way back when. So that's what's beautiful about it. So it is cross compatible. So if you have maybe a throw around iPad, you know, 9th generation that you use for content consumption, but you like to take notes on that sometimes, but then also you want to use it with your iPad Pro, that's all possible. And that's something that you cannot say with the Apple Pencil 2. And then lastly, the number one selling point has to be the price everybody the price of this thing is so much less i believe it's only 44 dollars right now on amazon and this is the highest end one i know the panovo makes some cheaper ones and normally what you're losing out on that is pretty much battery life build quality and then some of them don't have that tilt sensitivity so the ax is their highest end one at 44 dollars so you can almost pick up three of these pencils to have so just in case you lose one or you maybe have multiple ipads or multiple people in the house with multiple ipads you can literally get three of these for the price of one apple pencil at 130 dollars so keep that in mind when price comparing and again you get 99.9 .9 percent of the way there with these apple pencil alternatives the only difference is that you don't have that double tap shortcut which for my opinion right now is pretty obsolete because you can literally only change from pen tip to eraser tip with the Apple Pencil 2, like I wish you could use it maybe as like a shutter to take a picture or take a selfie with the iPad Pro, or maybe you can build in a shortcut in there to like launch a certain application or something like that. But as of right now, you cannot do anything besides switch from a pencil tip over to the eraser. And then also, like I said earlier, you can't magnetically charge it, but it does charge via USB-C, so you're all set to go. So in my opinion, this is a no-brainer if you are on the market for an Apple Pencil. If you don't have an Apple Pencil 2 and you're thinking about getting one, Pick one of these up, like you're gonna be very, very satisfied with the build quality, how it works, because it still functions within iOS and iPadOS the way that it's supposed to. So I'm a big proponent of saving your money wherever you can, because Apple products are expensive. So if you just buy yourself maybe the new M1 iPad Air, instead of spending $130 on the Apple Pencil, maybe get a little more storage on that iPad Air and then get one of these budget Apple Pencil alternatives like the AX Pro. But that's gonna do it for this video, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin right here. But overall, I'm a big fan of this AX Pro Pencil. I'm gonna leave it linked down in the description below if you guys do wanna check it out. I think they're running a 15% off or a 10% off promotion right now just directly through Amazon, so definitely check it out. Because for $40, it's hard to compare this to the Apple Pencil 2. Like for $40, you get 99.9% .9 of the way there, and I'm gonna keep reiterating that. So it's very, very few people that I would recommend the Apple Pencil 2 versus one of these Apple Pencil alternatives from Amazon. But like I said, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you guys wanna see some more iPad accessory videos, click on one of these right here and then stay tuned for some more iPadOS updates as they come along. Peace.